Get ready to match the stars. Dick Gauthier, Brett Summers, Charles Nelson Ryder, Della Reese, Richard Dawson, and Fanny Flagg as we play the star-studded Big Body Match Game 76. And now, here's the star of Match Game 76, Gene Ryder. Come over here with me. I greet you one and all. Hi, Gene. Very nice to be here today. It's what? really a wonderful thrill. What, what are you doing with your shoes on? You're crazy. You know that. Yeah. Yeah, that's why we booked you. All right, the rest of you are sane. <laughs> Not exactly. <laughs> How are things going on Chico and the Man? They're going better and better and better. Good. You're uh, like an irregular regular? Yeah, I'm a regular regular. Oh, you're a regular regular. Yes, that's so different from an irregular me. regular. Oh, terrific. We're very happy for you, Thank Don. You. All right, let's say hello to our two players, Kathy Whitehead and Joseph May. <laughs> Kathy's our current champ. She's won one game at $600. Being challenged here by Joseph, game ended in a tie, and the first order of business is to go to a tiebreaker. Well, that's really the second order of business. Mm -hmm. The first order of business is to do this commercial message. Uh, then we'll go to the tiebreaker. That goes to Washington. Right, okay, here we go. Push the button, reveal one tie. Oh, first I gotta get rid of all of this stuff. Blow a fuse, thank you. Now, one tie-breaking question for each of you. Joe, you may have your choice of A or B. B. The one who matches the most celebrities will be the winner, and this is number one. Fred said, my girlfriend used to be a maid. First she swept me off my feet, then she swept me under the blank. There now. All right, Why, you ready? Charles, when he finally does make up his mind, then he does little things. He does all that artwork there. Okay, everybody's ready Very up good. there, and everybody's ready down here, so we'll come over here to Joseph May. Fred said, my girlfriend used to be a maid. First, she swept me off my feet, then she swept me under the blank. Rug. Yay! Rug is what he said? <laughs> That's what maids who are not neat and tidy do. I think that that was a terrific answer. That's what I said. Right under the rug. You under the rug. There, there he is. is. Oh. Yeah, you're very quick and very uh, talented with that artwork. There. Maybe what do you he say? can teach Charles to, to, to go a little quicker on his artwork. I said rug or toupee. All right. <laughs> That's true for you, Joseph. Hello, Charles. <laughs> Don't touch it. It'll fall off. Then. Rug. Rug. Okay. First she swept me off my feet, then she swept me under the rug. What well, do you say, I Della? thought since it was his girlfriend, under the bed. Oh. oh. Get the picture, Richard? Yeah, under the bed, though, is not the place that I would uh, think would be marvelous. No. I think under the covers no. would be better. Ah. Yes, you could hurt yourself under that bed there. <laughs> Just ring for maid service. Right. Yes, ma'am. I said, well... Uh, carpet, which I think is the same. Carpet and yeah. rug is a mess. So that's four for you. Well, you did it once. You may be able to do it again. Kathy, you ready for it? I am. Here we go. Hey, listen, most people don't know this, but... What? Buffalo Bill got his name because he blinked like a buffalo. <laughs> buffalo Bill got his name because he blinked like a buffalo. I have the answer to that. Yes, of course. Right. Very good there. Okay. Put it in the slot. And away we go. Everybody's ready down here. <laughs> Write something down. <laughs> Write something down now. Oh, okay. Well, that's a little harder. You want to No, say. there's a very easy one. Oh, sure. Okay, put that down. Yes. Oh. <laughs> Is that bad? That's not bad. <laughs> Whatever you say. All right. Everybody ready over there? Okay, Kathy. What you say, babe? Most people don't know this, Kathy, but Buffalo Bill got his name because he blanked like a buffalo. Um, because he... Because he... 
Да, 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 да. Buffalo Bill got his name because he blanked like a buffalo. He made a lot of kids like buff don't buffaloes you say they make a lot of kids? Because he broke that's a bad answer. What what now what is can you give it to me in one or two words rather than nine sentences there? Okay. Like, because he made a lot of kids like a buffalo. Cause, yeah, because pro he, he pro procreated. Procreated. Pro procreated. Pro oh, yeah, that's, that's what everyone called. on the panel will have. I that's know. right. <laughs> yeah. Let's show your procreation there. Okay. This one. Because Buffalo Bill smell like a buffalo. <laughs> smell like a buffalo. Yeah. No one wanted to ride down with the sucker. Right. He is. Got a match four to tie, five to win. Brett? That's what she's doing, procreating. Yes. Uh, I'm sorry, I said belch. Oh, terrible answer. Oh, belch like a bar. Now, you got to match the rest of them. All four remaining ones, Kathy. Charles. I said snorts. Like snorts like a buffalo, so that means Joseph May wins the game. What the rest of the air? Go, go. Everybody has smell. One second. Okay. Smell. We're all good. Kathy, you'll be leaving here with $600. And our best wishes for your blessed event coming up in a couple of months. Kathy Whitehead, ladies and gentlemen. And while she's spinning off, we'll spin these messages just for you. Very good. Here we go. Are you ready? Yes, sir. For what? Anything. <laughs> oh, all right. <laughs> now, what we're going to do here, you've won the game, now you've picked up $100. But you could really enrich yourself here, Joseph, if you do well here with this big money super match. Let's get right to it. We polled a recent studio audience, Joe, and we got their best response to this. Marty Blank. Now, the answer they gave most frequently is worth $500 if you match it. If you match the middle one, you get $250 and then $100 for the bottom. Now, whom do you call on for a little bit of assistance here? Richard, please. Marty Allen. Marty Allen. Uh, Allen is what he said. Remember the comedy team? Yes. Thick. Marty Feldman. Marty Feldman. You know who he is? Marty Feldman is the one with the protuberant eyes who played in Young Frankenstein. He played Igor, remember? The guy who said, walk like this? <laughs> no, I'm not. Uh, boy, he's... Really a responsive There's Emmy talk, there. though. Yes. What else? There, one more. Fanny, please. Marty Mouse. No. Uh, no, that's Mickey, dear. No, I'll tell you, Marty Ingalls. Marty Ingalls. So you've got Ingalls, Allen, and Feldman. Now, you may have a better idea in your head. No, I think we'll go with the uh, hunchback, Marty Feldman. Marty Feldman. Okay. Well, he's very popular. He was, isn't he in, in Mel uh, Brooks' newest movie? Silent movie. The silent that, movie, yeah. yes, he's in that too. All right, we'll find out if Marty Feldman's up there. And if so, where? Let's go down there at the bottom and reveal the $100 response. I can't see. Oh, Marty Gras. Marty Gras. Marty Gras. I mean, we've had some dumb audiences. <laughs> Wherever you are in America at this moment, you people who were here that day, who were a Mardi Gras, hey. M-A-R-D-I. I, I what? explain that. Well, how do you explain it's that? A wino convention. A wino convention. <laughs> I said Mardi Gras. Where is we put down Mardi Gras, <laughs> Ethel? Okay, Ethel, I'll write it if you'll write it. Now, we want Marty Feldman. Let's reveal a $250 number. There it is. Congratulations. You got it. Okay. What do you think's under the big one? Milner. Marty Allen? Allen. All right. Slide it, who's ever in the brown box there. Marty Allen. So, now you've picked up another $250, and you got a total of $350, but you're going to play for 10 times the amount you just won of $250, or $2,500, and you've got to match one of them exactly. I'll take Richard, please. Okay. Well, why didn't you take me for Alan? You'd be <laughs> playing for five grand now, Jim. Oh, all right. Lesson. <laughs> you learned a lesson, these. As long as you're humble. <laughs> Stand on the tape. Okay. Face Mecca. Here it is, worth $2,500. Think. Get your thoughts going over there to Richard Dawson. 
tie blank. That's T I E blank. Now he's finished. What answer do you want to give us, Joseph May, which you think will match his? Concentrate. Say the word that he wrote on the card. The only thing I can think of is tie game. Tie game. <laughs> Wait a minute, audience. What would you say? Tie breaker, they would say. Well, can I break it? That's, That's what they'd say. All tie right. a yellow ribbon. Tie a yellow ribbon. Old oak tree. Yeah. Tie dye. Tie dye. Some of them said that out there. Yeah. I heard that. Yeah. Well, there's some good possibilities there. Both of your answers were good. Joseph, you're going to meet another player now. Let's welcome Roberta Rollins. And here she comes. Hello. Roberta, you know Joseph May here. Yeah. We welcome Roberta Rollins and ask her to tell us about herself. Well, I force children to enjoy English in the ninth through twelfth grade. You do. <laughs> In they don't Delphi do that anymore. Huh? No. In Delaware, Ohio, just north of Archie Griffin and Woody Hayes. Oh, yes, of course. I know exactly where that is, yes. Now, um, you ain't having too much success. In, <laughs> yeah. Well, don't give up. I'll try. All right. Good luck to Roberta Rollins. I'll push the button and ask you to make a selection. I give out some A's. I'll try an A. All right. She'll try an A. I think she's a nice she's teacher. Yes, indeed. She'd I'd uh, join her class any day. Match game 76 predicts if Jimmy Carter wins the election six months from now, he'll be blanking peanuts on the White House lawn. <laughs> That's what we predict. I remember you blanking. heard it here. If Jimmy Carter wins the election six months from now, he'll be blanking peanuts on the White House lawn. Everybody's ready down here. Get I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm gear. ready, almost. Okay, here we go. Right over here. Come on, Brett, put it in the slot. I'm only trying to assist Charles because his mind is gone. Well, Charles' light is on. That indicates he has it already he written He doesn't have an anything in there, sweetheart, he except come his light is on? Because I have an inner magic which causes anything like that to go on. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, Roberta Rollins. Match Game 76 predicts if... Jimmy Carter wins the election. Six months from now, he'll be blanking peanuts on the White House lawn. Planting. Yeah. Planting peanuts. Okay. She says planting peanuts on the White House lawn. Planting peanuts. I'm sorry. I was thinking of, of uh, I don't know, ro I said rolling peanuts. Rolling peanuts. You know, like, you know, like, the way they have the Easter egg roll, yeah. that sort of thing. I figured yeah. it out. Rolling I thought Easter November, egg. December, January, February, March, April, right? Right. That's why I said rolling. Oh, yeah. because it comes to Easter there. Okay. Yeah, I'm sorry. All right. Her answer's not bad. Eating! <laughs> Eating. <laughs> Eating peanuts on the White House lawn. Well, there's a lot of protein in them. What do you say, Della Reese? Well, after he rolls them and before he eats them, he has to shell them. Shelling peanuts on the White House lawn. No, this little lady's looking for the answer, planting peanuts. I said rolling. Oh, and, and not one peanut farmer in a whole bunch here. What do you say, Fanny? Yeah. You're from the South? Well, that don't mean that I know anything. That's a joke. <laughs> no, uh, I, you know, I, I had a teacher uh, who I loved, Mrs. Sybil Underwood, and I wanted so to match you. It, and I assumed, because he was a salesman, he'd be selling them. Uh, Sorry. Well, listen, I didn't think it was a bad answer at all, Roberta, all right, but first-round questions oh, are tough. Right. Yours will be long in a moment, oh, but right now, this <laughs> message is for you. You're right. That's the problem. Okay. Shall we carry on? Are you ready? Yes, sir. This is your first rounder. Remember, they're tough. Listen carefully. At dinner last night, yeah. Dumb Dora's chicken soup was really heavy. How heavy was it? Well, I'll tell you how. I'm going to tell you how heavy it was. Because instead of using matzo balls, Dumb Dora used blank balls. <laughs> Dumb Dora's chicken soup was really heavy because instead of using matzo balls, Dumb Dora used blank balls. You know what matzo balls are, Joseph May? Okay. How heavy was it? Oh, you should have. Okay. Thank you very much. Just checking here. Go back to the immigration office and they'll give you your visa. Thank you very much. <laughs> Hello, Joseph. At dinner last night, 
Dumb Dora's chicken soup was really heavy because instead of using matzo balls, Dumb Dora used blank balls. Well, I have to say golf balls. Yeah. Nothing wrong with that. Sounds like a reasonable response to me. Yes, um, <laughs> mine isn't quite that. I thought of something even heavier, cannonball. Oh, that'd be good. Oh, yes, sir. Brett? Jim Arnest could eat that. <laughs> I didn't want to blow up the whole house. I wanted something heavy, but would fit into a pot. I said baseball. Baseball. And Charle. I said bowling balls. Jim. Bowling ball. <laughs> the squat Very heavy. heavy. Over here. He's looking for golf balls. Della? I, too, said bowling balls. No, oh, not a golf ball you in the lot. You could only get one of those in a pot, couldn't you? What, a bowling, bowling ball? Bowling ball? No, but golf balls, uh, I thought it was yeah, a good answer because right, it's about because the size of a bowling ball would be ball. so big, you'd only be able to get one in yes, there. Yes, it's a rotten Golf. Golf, you say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's one. Miss Fanny, honey? He gets so hostile when he has the right answer. <laughs> I said bowling after he said that thing. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mean it. Oh, oh, oh. Heel. One for you. Now, one to nothing to score at the end of round one. We go to round two. Roberta, you may have A or B. I think I better try B. B. You give out some Bs too, do you? Oh, indeed. Oh, yes. <laughs> All right, here we go. The princess was so ugly. <laughs> I'm going to tell you, when she kissed the enchanted frog, the frog didn't turn into a prince. Instead, the frog blanked. <laughs> the frog didn't turn into a prince. Instead, the frog blanked. Hi, sweetheart. I think I've got a terrific little answer for that. What is that? Okay. Very good. Oh, I got it. When she kissed the enchanted frog, the frog didn't turn into a prince. Instead, the frog blanked. I had to change my answer because... Uh... All right. Let's come over here to Roberta Coll uh, Rollins. <laughs> <laughs> the princess was so ugly, when she kissed the enchanted frog, the frog didn't turn into a prince. Instead, the frog blanked. Died. Died is very good, Roberta. <laughs> Great answer. It is. Oh, but you haven't got it. Well, That's no, what you're telling me. No, no, in a way I do, Gene, because it, it's, a, it's, a, it's a slang euphemism for, for dying that frogs do, they croak. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yes, sir. Perfect. Curtain up croaks the frog. Yes, sir. That's two for her. Charles, keep I, the momentum I going. I on the first ballot. I didn't have to rewrite cards like some people I know. <laughs> Bro. Okay. <laughs> That's three for you, Roberta. You're going along like gangbusters here. Della, she's looking for a dead... Dad died. Dad died. It's perfect. Hot dog. The enchanted frog. The frog didn't turn into a prince. Instead, the frog died. He did it. Died. I've seen a lot of things. Uh, this is the biggest hand death has gotten in a long time. <laughs> That's right. There's yeah. another one. If it's so popular, we'll all do it. Yeah. Now, you Fanny yourself, is looking, you know, like Southern Belle, oh, I've got the vapors or something, because I suspect she's got the wrong answer. How dare you, sir? <laughs> she does that. She says, oh, I've got the vapors. Oh. I pretend I'm not here when I have the wrong answer. Oh, I see. However, I, I are so glad I have it. Die. Oh, you said it. Oh. Well, Joseph May, you got to go to work here, don't you? You know what you have to do? You got to match five to tie, and that's the best you can do. Here we go. Joel said last night, I dreamed that I planted a flag on top of Mount Everest, but when I woke up, I found I'd stuck a broomstick in my blank. <laughs> I dreamed that I planted a flag on top of Mount Everest, but when I woke up, I found I had stuck a broomstick in my blank. Oh, Resto. I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. Hmm? Right. Put it in the car. We, we got to speed up. Something. All right. You I don't got... write. You know that. Because it says you don't write right there. Well, I'm the best. All right. Here we go. <laughs> Let's go now, Charles. Quickly. All right, he's writing an answer. Joel said, last night I dreamed that I planted a flag on top of Mount Everest, but when I woke up, I found I had stuck a broomstick in my... Pillow. 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 Oh. Pillow. Got to go all the way here with pillows. He needs five pillows. Dick, you're up first. 
Navel. Navel. So that means Roberta Rollins wins the game. What do the rest of you have? Okay. Well, congratulations to you. You get an A for that. <laughs> Joseph, you're not leaving here empty-handed, are you? How much money you got? $350. That's very good. We congratulate you, and it was a pleasure to meet Joseph May, ladies and gentlemen. While he's spinning off, let's spin these messages just for you. Very good. Maybe you're here. Join us next time for Match Game 76. In the meantime, goodbye! This is Johnny Olson speaking for Match Game 76, a Mark Goodson, Bill Trotman production.